Hi friends, welcome back. As always, I'm super excited to see you here. If you are meeting for the first time, I am Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. I host videos on media, communication, statistics and research on this channel. To stay updated with the latest videos on this channel, I urge you to consider subscribing to the channel. The Frankfurt School is an extremely influential body of critical social theorists. People who critique the existing social reality, especially regarding domination and exploitation. Let's find out more about the Frankfurt School. What is Frankfurt School in this video? One distinguishing element of the Frankfurt School is its use of Freudian psychoanalysis. The Frankfurt School involves the critique of capitalist society, a critique of modernity, the definition of social emancipation, as well as the detection of pathologies in society. The Frankfurt School refers to the work of a group of researchers associated with the Institute for Social Research, which was established in the University of Frankfurt in 1923. It was the first Marxist-oriented research center affiliated with a major German university. It was formed in the decade prior to the Nazi reign of terror. Noted German philosopher and sociologist Max Horkheimer took over as the director of the Institute for Social Research in 1930. He recruited many talented theorists including Adorno, Fromm, Marcuse and Walter Benjamin. The work of these scholars represents early Frankfurt School critical theory. The Frankfurt School tried to adapt the 19th century Marxist theory to 20th century realities. Marxism, as we know, is a social, political and economic philosophy named after Karl Marx. It suggests that the struggle between the capitalists and the proletariat defines the economic relationships in a capitalist society. This will inevitably lead to revolutionary communism, where the workers will control the means of production. There are four elements of an ideal critical theory. It tries to explain what is wrong with the current social reality. It identifies the actors to change it. It provides clear norms for criticizing the social reality. And it also provides achievable practical goals for social transformation. The Frankfurt School theorists also examined the effects of mass culture and the rise of the consumer society on the working classes. As we have just seen, these working classes, according to Marx, were to be the instruments of revolution. A distinguishing feature of the Frankfurt School was that it used Freudian psychoanalysis. It used Freudian psychoanalysis for the study of identity, politics, culture and ideology. It involved a particular focus on the individual, self-identity and emotional life while studying domination. Sigmund Freud, a 19th century neurologist, founded psychoanalysis. Psychoanalysis is a method for treating mental illness and also a theory which explains human behavior. Freud believed that events in our childhood influence our adult lives and shape our personality. Sigmund Freud's central discoveries the unconscious, the sexual repression, the Oedipus complex and other such things were deployed by key Frankfurt School theorists to reconsider the relation between self and society, the family and socialization and ideology and political domination. We now consider some of the key works of the Frankfurt School theorists. 
The Dialectic of Enlightenment was published by Max Horkheimer and Theodor Adorno in 1944. It spoke of the idea of enlightenment as being a rationalist, republican and universal. Whereas in traditional societies, people turn to mythology, in modern societies, the force of human reason was regarded as decisive. In a dialectic way of thinking, enlightenment and myth are closely allied. From fascism in Europe to commercialized mass culture in the United States, the Enlightenment's promise of freedom had produced disastrous social consequences. Horkheimer and Adorno underlined the power of instrumental reason, technological reason and scientific reason to establish domination over the self, over one's inner nature, over external nature and over society. Adorno and Horkheimer introduced the idea of culture industry as the focus of a new idea of capitalist modernity that used culture, advertising, mass communication and new forms of social control to induce consent in the society and to sustain the new forms of capitalist society. Adorno and Horkheimer's account is a neo-Marxian account of mass media and culture that helps explain how the culture industry helps reproduce capitalist societies and also why socialist revolutions fail to take place in these societies. According to Frankfurt School theorists, the role of media entertainment is to accustom the audiences to accept existing society as natural by endlessly repeating and reproducing similar views of the world that present the existing way of life as the natural way of the world. Another influential Frankfurt School theorist is Eric Fromm. One of Eric Fromm's major works is Escape from Freedom. He suggests Freudian psychoanalysis must supplement Marxism in order to grasp how social structures influence and shape the inner dimensions of personal life. Psychoanalysis can be used to analyze the family as mediator between self and society. Societies influence individuals' characteristics. A feudal society produced individuals who were adapted to the roles of serfs and lords. Market capitalism produced capitalists and workers and advanced monopoly capitalism churns out consumers. According to Fromm, the destructive effects of late capitalism were not just limited to economic mechanisms and economic systems. It led to the domination of the inner life and the inner dynamic psychological struggles of each individual. Another defining work of the Frankfurt School is Theodor Adorno's The Authoritarian Personality. Adorno says contemporary society overpowers the individual through a standardized, monotonous mass culture, leaving little room for authentic individualism. Society produces authoritarian social character types. We witness the end of the individual. In a large group, a person identifies less with his own ego ideals and more with impersonal group ideals. This identification with the group tends to erase the memory of various repressions at the level of the individual. One of the most important works of the Frankfurt School is Herbert Marcuse's One Dimensional Man. 
Marcuse says advanced capitalism generates a one dimensional society based on false consumer needs and integrates individuals into the mass system of domination and social inequality. The most striking feature of the modern world is conformity. Marcuse asks how society could confront the systematic erosion of critical thinking, dissent and opposition to capitalism and industrial management. Marcuse believes that critical theory must address the denial or distortion of human needs and potentials in existing culture. The totally administered society of the late capitalism eliminates the need for adaptive citizens who are also autonomous. Thanks for watching friends. I am delighted that you stayed along. I will be back with another video very soon. Till then have a great time.